Hey, I'll tell you what, Jason, what I love about ice fishing is all the cool rigs that people do. And you really got your UTV here decked out. Let's kind of go through it and show everybody because UTVs are a big thing oh. now when it comes to ice fishing. Oh, of course. First of all, you got wheels on it now. You can put tracks on when you get too much snow. Right. Um, here I've got a box I had fabbed up. As you can see, I got the wrong shocks on it, so we got the vice grips up here. But I put a shelf in here. I can put all my vexlers up here, my heaters, my LP tanks, my couple towels. Then down below, I can put my buckets, my tip ups, my coolies for lunches. Wow. All that stuff. And this all seals up real nice. Which is nice. Yep, pins on the side, keeps everything tight. When you come around here to the side, I've got rod holders on each side of the of the of the uh, unit, so you step out of the cab. Light. And, yep, lights on the inside and the outside. So when you're setting up in the early mornings and picking up in the late evenings for okay. the walleye bites, I put the rods on the outside. I've got rod holders on the inside too, so everything's let's, just boom, easy to get to. It's this is a working machine oh, for sure. Hey, let's check out the front of this thing too, which is I thought really cool. You got your rack. You can put portables here. You got a portable here. You got your ice drill here. Correct. You got a winch underneath there, Correct. so if you do get stuck or need to pull somebody out, you have it. Correct. Very impressive, I'll tell you that. Let's check, let's show every, and you got a big light bar on the light front. Light bar, windshield wiper. And because, boy, when you're out ice fishing, you don't know what kind of conditions you're going to run into. That's let's show fact. everybody the inside. Okay, here I've got my GPS mounted right here, screwed on the top of the actually where the uh, rear view mirror is. Got a full four speaker surround. Sounds kind of kind of nice on certain days. <laughs> this is my GPS. This is. My hummingbird, I use that for mapping and for fishing. The cool thing about the Pan Ams here, I can flip the seat well, up right here. Oh, that's nice. I pop this hole cover right there. Hatch cover. And I put the sleeve down so it's really cold and I'm out scouting while I got my customers fishing. I got the heat on in here. I just drill a hole outside, pull forward, and start fishing. I give it 10, 15 minutes and move right down the line and just keep going. And as soon as I get on the next hot bite, I text my customers, they start packing up, we move. And another rod rack up yep, here, huh? another rod rack up here. Another five rods here and then I put another four here. So what I do too is, this is a good idea if, if you guys got a crew cab like I do, when it's really cold, it's nice to keep the heat up front when you're by yourself. I got an insulated curtain here that I just shut everything with. That's just a shower curtain rod. And I have my wife sew one up with insulated fabric so it keeps all the heat up in here when you're by yourself, so. Wow, this is great. Hey Jason, thanks for showing us your customized UTV here. No and if problem. you guys are looking for something cool, definitely check this out. You know, that's the great part about what we do. We fish with so many other people and you're always getting different ideas. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of things I've seen here today that I'm definitely doing to my machine.